Welcome to our channel. Today in this video we're going to be bringing you the long-awaited Hunter labor story. We were waiting so long for this moment, about two weeks, where we thought that she was in labor or going to go into labor soon and did not. So it's been really exciting, or it was very exciting, the night that we woke up at midnight and she was pushing out a puppy. So let's get into all the details of how that happened, what we saw, and our advice to anybody who's going through the same thing. I'll push a little more, sweetie. What's up? I'm telling her she's got to push a little more. Good girl. Good job. From right here. Yeah, push. Push, baby, push. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay. Easy. Easy. Yep. Help it. Good girl. Good girl, baby. It's okay. Push. Is it? It was, I think it's okay. I think I just I need to give her a second to work on it. I think it's okay. I think it's quiet because it's calm. But I don't know. You might have to stick to two in its mouth, too. I did already. Oh. Oh, in the mouth, then? Yeah, like if its mouth is open and just start drinking. I mean, like, I guess you know. She's totally fine. I mean, it's just a calm ass baby, I think. Because it opened its mouth for me and it went. But it doesn't look just, like, it doesn't seem distressed at all. Good girl, honey. Is it, like, that's the umbilical cord? She's got to pull the umbilical cord before right. I can do anything. I think she just did. Good girl. Can I help you? trying to attach already. Okay, that's what we need to cut right there, baby. You want to do it? You want it? Yeah, there you go. You need to bite that. Bite it. Good girl. Can you bite it? She didn't bite it. Where's those scissors? Oh, I'm caught it. Right, I'm She's pulling out slowly. Interesting technique, Hunter. I like it. The whole placenta. She's not stuff. biting the umbilical cord. She's using it almost as, like, I think, an anchor to the placenta. And so she's tugging on like the mucus that's coming out, and I think eating the placenta slowly. Okay. Oh, yep, she severed it. I think. I think she just severed it. Nice, good no. job, honey. She's oh, eating it. It's attached oh, yeah. to the placenta, so she's gonna eat the entire placenta and then bite it off. Oh. Good girl, honey. Oh, we're regurge. Let it too. Good job, Hunter. Our bed is going to be so fucked. Let's not even mention that right now. Just focus on this. I'm going to try to save it, but like put towels down when I can, you know? Good girl. All right, so let's start with the night of. So it happened the night of the 31st. Uh, so a couple days ago now. Um, basically, we were trying to sleep in our bedroom, and Hunter kept coming up to me to bark. She'd bark in my face, just one really loud bark. She never does that, so I knew something was up. Um, I thought she just wanted to have her puppies out here, so we went, okay, let's go sleep on the couch. So we put the, the couch down into our, like, futon bed. Well, and also, just to, like, give a little bit of story of that part, he woke me up and was like, hey, babe, the dog's barking at me, she's doing weird stuff, I don't know. And we are so used to that at this point. Like, we were having a lot of nights like that where we were waking up thinking Hunter was... See, that's where my brain should have caught up, though, because we never thought Hunter was doing weird stuff. We would just wake up worried about her. Like, we would wake up three times a night just making sure Hunter wasn't in labor. But this time, Matt was saying she was weird. 
but I was still halfway asleep. So mm -hmm. he said, let's go on into the bedroom or into the living room. And so I literally just like plopped on the living room bed. Like I'm not awake. I'm not thinking about things, but he is. He's worried uh -huh. about her. He comes out and Hunter follows us. So we lay down and we try to get comfortable for a little while. Uh, she falls asleep. <laughs> And I tried to fall asleep, but Hunter kept wedging herself under the bed underneath me and doing circles. I could feel her spinning underneath the couch, or the bed. Um, and I, so I got up because it was annoying. I couldn't sleep. And I was just like, what are you doing, Hunter? Like, are you okay? And I got up and she was looking at me very, very strangely. I've never seen her look at me like that before. So I go, okay, there's some, there's clearly something going on. Uh, hey babe, time to wake up. I think, I think Hunter might be having her puppies or it's getting really close. And boy, I was met with some hostility. <laughs> <laughs> I was basically still asleep and so I'm like, uh-huh. And he's like, we need to get up for the puppies. And I'm like, no, Hunter's done this a million times, but like in, a, in my tiredness, like not nice. I'm just like... Yeah, 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 Hunter's done this a million times, like, she'll be fine, she'll be fine. And he's like, no, 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 she's gonna have them, but I'm still, like, asleep. Like, I'm not, listen, he's talking about her, like, spinning under the bed, but I just, like, I don't even know what he's talking about, because she does sometimes lay at the corner of the couch bed underneath, and so I figured she was just doing that, and so I'm like, she's fine, stop, she's fine, she's fine, she's fine, and then he's like, no, she's not. And I don't remember what caused me. I think it was just like me being exasperated, but when he basically... No, it was me lifting up. So basically, like the, the straw to get you awake was I got up out of the bed and I started putting the bed back up. Like I started lifting the couch back up um, to make Hunter get up out of that spot because she was, because she was right looking right. at me so mm -hmm. weird. So I was like, come on, come on, honey, get up, get, like get up out of your spot. And as I was doing that, you woke up and you're like, okay, let's go to the bedroom. Like, you're all angry. <laughs> I was like, fine, I'm going to go to sleep in the bedroom because I'm looking to sleep. I'm not looking to do anything. So I get up and I walk to the bedroom and I storm down the hallway and Hunter follows me eagerly. In fact, Hunter jumps in front of me and jumps up onto the bed and starts spinning in circles on the bed and I see a baby head sticking out of the bottom. I'm like, oh fuck, I'm awake now. I'm so awake now. I'm like, grab the camera. I'm gonna go grab some towels and I'm right here. And so basically I just threw all of the blankets that we had already decided were gonna be her labor blankets underneath her as she was spinning because she was on our, our bed. And so I'm like, please don't like stain my carpet or my mattress. Um, I'll roll some footage here of us clean of me cleaning the mattress so you guys can see what it looks like afterwards. into the labor and how that all went we were definitely nervous going into it and we had all the tools that we needed we brought um, a little uh, nose squeezy which pulls out any mucus that's in their nose or their mouth um, I used it on a few of the babies just to make sure because there are a few times where she was really distracted she being hunter I'm pointing at was very distracted by the placenta and so she would cut off the umbilical cord and then slurp up the placenta and kind of just leave the baby laying there which honestly I think is fine if we would have left it I think the baby would have been fine I just like to get in there and help her because Hunter's my little baby. I had the towel ready and kind of like wiped a little bit passively if she was busy doing something else just to kind of keep them getting clean. But she did majority of everything. I just kind of stood there and assisted when needed, helped move blankets to get them out of her way, kind of cuddled, bit coddled the babies if they were still in her vagina and she was moving around trying to get comfy. I would like hold it and then make sure that it kind of just draped nicely so she could still clean it off easily. Um, and then we kind of moved the babies around as it was happening since it was on the bed. So we had a little basket that we would put the puppies in right before she was about to have another one. That's the other thing I wasn't sure about was if it was going to be obvious that she was going to have, like when the labor was about to happen again. And did you feel like it was pretty obvious? Yeah, it was pretty obvious. She started breathing really, really fast and really hard. And then she'd just stop all of a sudden. And that was her contraction. That was her pushing. Yeah, and she would start looking at the babies like, I need you guys to go away for a second. Mm -hmm. So we kind of knew when it was time to move them away. Um, her labor was really fast. We started at about midnight and she had all her babies by 3.30. Yeah. So everybody was out and we had eight puppies, all healthy, no stillborns, no issues, no like near death experience stories or anything like that. Everybody was perfectly easy to pull out and I didn't pull them out, don't worry, but take care of. And she was a perfect mama. She didn't whine at all when any of the babies came out. She just pushed and they came right out. Um, and then she's very instinctual too. She's only 10 months as you guys saw in the last video and 
So for her to know how to clean the babies off so well and take care of all the placentas and to be such a good mama when it comes to feeding times. I mean, as you can see, this little turd hasn't, le hasn't moved a muscle, but usually they're quite loud and quite fussy. But she takes care of them really, really well, and that, that gives us a lot of confidence in this, uh, that it's not just us doing it alone, and it's not just her doing it alone. Uh, we make a great team. Searching for a nipple. <laughs> they're always searching for a nipple. Better watch out. <laughs> and they got some sharp nails now. They didn't used to be sharp. Care of the babies. I was helping her stimulate, but she doesn't like it. But we'll give you more details on what raising the puppies is like in the next video. So I hope you guys like this labor story and it was interesting for y'all. I hope you liked the footage. We really tried to record everything that happened while we were out there or there doing the thing. He's like, okay, no nipple in your butt. Got it. <laughs> but going off what Matt said, we love raising the puppies. It's been really fun and we also love documenting it for everybody. So please comment down below if there's anything you want to hear in particular about the puppies or any questions you guys have about the labor and we'll be sure to answer them down below. But until next time, like this video, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one. When in doubt, love it out.